Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here and today we're going to take a break from the old town and go back to the marina and fill this rather large quayside with a rather large boat. So it's goodbye to the red boat for a bit and hello something special. Okay, very exciting. So which ship am I going to use in my quayside? Yes, it's the Destiny's Bounty, set 70618, that's a set from 2017, went for £110 or $160 and had 2,295 pieces. Now I was very fortunate in picking one of these up, uh, brand new, but without any of its minifigures, thanks to one of those people who presumably likes to collect uh, the minifigures and not the sets. but. Um, I managed to get this therefore for the knockdown price of £55, which is way below three pence a piece, which makes it an absolute bargain with all the stickers, sales and absolutely everything else. So a real, real treat there. Now, I was considering putting a large pirate ship in the quayside and having it as a tourist attraction. But when I saw this and I saw the price that it was going for, I thought, no, this, this is a, a contender for the same spot. And obviously I can only have one due to the sheer size of it. And I think the deciding factor was the Chinese New Year set. That's uh, 80101 that was uh, this year, to 2019. Because that set had several wonderful tile food pieces, like this fish or these chicken legs. Or some dim sum with dip. So with all those lovely food items to use in a Chinese restaurant, I thought, hang on, why not have a Chinese restaurant on the boat? A floating Chinese restaurant. Sounds like a top plan, huh? Now there's quite a few things I'm going to have to do to this boat if I'm going to turn it into a functional Chinese restaurant. One is to create a heck of a lot of space because there's so much on here, so much detail from its Ninjago adventures uh, that I'm going to have to clear some space for some tables because I want the tables on the deck in full view. Uh, and I'm also going to need an easy way of getting onto and off this boat by way of some sort of gangplank. So there's quite a few challenges to sort. And that's before I even get to adding things like tables and waiters and, and all the rest of that good stuff. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have to do this in quite a few stages. So the first thing to do, I think, is to take off the three large sails just to give me better access and then start removing some of the details I don't need. OK, so I've taken off the sails. I think I'm also going to take off this lovely chain of decorations because it will give me better access as well. So we'll put that to one side. Definitely want that adding back when we're done. And then to take a look at the deck. So I think we're definitely going to have to get rid of all these plant boxes, fishing rods, boxes and fish and tools and all the rest of it. I would like to keep the lights because they've got a good sort of lantern, uh, Chinese lantern sort of quality to them. I'm going to unfortunately have to block that in because I mean I can get about two tables on that space so this entire um, access to the lower decks will have to be covered up I think using some plates and I also think since we're going to be permanently moored in harbour I think we're going to get rid of the turning device that lowers the dual anchors uh, so they won't be there, but um, I think I think that's just unfortunately a necessity. Then when I've done all that, I should have enough room to work out what else I need to do. Another early thought was whether I wanted to take the entire bottom layer, just this very lowest layer of uh, bricks off, just to make it slightly lower in the water, so it would be less high compared with my quayside. I've done a little 
mock-up of the height of my key side so I can compare it. So basically it's a base plate with a row of two by five bricks, uh, one by two by five bricks rather, and uh, one more plate, and then that would have uh, some tiles on top of it. But as you can see at the moment, it's quite a bit higher. The only problem with removing that bottom layer is it might totally ruin the structural integrity of the boat, and I want to be able to pick it up and move it, um, if only to reach other areas in my city. And also getting it one brick higher or lower is not going to really make or break it. I'm definitely still going to need some sort of gangplank to get from deck level to pavement street level. Another thing to mention is basically the insides. For those that don't know, the whole of this back room roof comes off and then you can take off the entire back section and there's even space underneath the front section as well. Now I could do a massive uh, restoration of all of these layers to create kitchens and storerooms and all the rest of it. But at least for now, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to focus on creating um, the exterior, making that look good. Uh, and then maybe I'll come back to it in the future and sort out the insides as well. But that's less of a priority and that's not something I've scoped and all got the pieces for yet. Right, so I've taken a load off that. All the grow boxes, like I said, barrels, bits, the entire of the trap door, both of the anchors. Maybe I can use them for my underwater scene or something like that. And that leaves us with the exposed large weapons room, which is the hold underneath. Now, this is the part that I haven't ripped out and I've just got one more tan four by 10 plate. That I can just join into that and just drop straight back in. So now we're looking complete again. I've got actually quite a big area to work with now. One more thing, I'm just gonna add two by four plate as well, just so it's consistent, just fill in that small gap that was where the winding mechanism for the uh, anchors was. Another couple of changes. I'm gonna just smarten this up by putting on a tile, round tile with a hole on it, just to take the studs off the top of that. And then this one is quite ugly. So let's see what I can do with this one. I think I might take off the whole thing because it's a, a lot of space that it's using. And instead of having this entire part, I think I can just swap that for this, which will keep it the same height and give it the same look. So I'm just swapping that for that. and then it'll be in the same place and everything. And I'll add another one of those round tiles to smarten that up as well. So that looks a lot smaller and gives a lot more room for our waiters to get out of the cooking space and the serving place and onto the deck where I'm gonna have all the tables. Good, good. Right, so now I think I've got to focus on the entrance how to get on and off this boat well, I think it's gonna to have to be on the side and this seems like the biggest gap so you can see the one on the other side there as well so I think I'm gonna to have to make a hole in this sort of side trim because I think going over it's gonna be quite a, a hurdle no pun intended so um if I can make a hole in this and still keep it structurally sound, then it'll be a lot easier to get in because we've still got to go quite a way up from the key side and I don't wanna to have to do a huge looping jump. But yeah, it's already starting to look quite good, I think. I just love these uh, dragon heads and so on on the front of it. It's gonna look a real treat in my, uh, in my harbor. Right, so I'm gonna start playing with this uh, and making a hole in the side. As always, it does seem you have to go quite a long way back before you can go forward. Um, so I've taken off 
yet more of the side, being this bit with the anchor hole things on and um, a block there. Uh, and I'm going to put back just on a 2x4 the first half of it. And that means that the whole sort of angle bracket that would be here, there's one on the other side, with these two things, these are the constructs that hold the side on, I've been able to move one all the way, so you can see, to here instead. So it was here, and I've moved it along to here, because it wasn't held on there, as you can see on the other side before. Uh, and then rather than have these sort of six long pieces with the bricks on the side I've put in one that's too long in there so it's continuing the same sort of pattern but just isn't unbroken and is now if I put that all back together pretty much the same as the other side a nice spread on that there we are but with a six wide gap. Now I need to tidy up this end of this one, but I think that would be good because if I move this out of the way, you see, look, the difference now between the key side and the deck level of the ship is quite small. So that's really good. Now I've also taken off a light. I'll probably put that back on in due course. There are other things that are in the set as well, like uh, this plant and teapot and all sorts of other stuff. It may be that some of that makes it back on as well, but um, for now I'm just removing as much as possible to give me as much room to play with. I also removed these uh, brown curved slopes, which were here and here on each side, to give me even more room. So you can see I've got quite a good space for my restaurant. Right, so I need to finish up this side to make it as neat as this one, and then I probably... Mm, I don't know. I might do some similar amendments on the other side, even though there won't be a gap there, uh, just to make it more symmetrical and because it'll open it up yet further and get rid of this block, for instance. Okay, I'm really glad I did that. That's made even more room. What I've done is uh, made this eight long block only four long, so it's only just got the old anchor hole on it. And this six wide element was here and I've just moved it along to make even more space. Now it occurred to me that although I've got a hole here at the moment I can take this two ways. One I could sort of seal it up and put another one of these six wide constructions sort of in this gap to plug it so it doesn't look like people could fall in or because it's opposite the entrance on this side I could have another entrance because it occurs to me that I will have a key side on both sides of this boat so it could be that you could uh, come in one and go out to the other or something like that. Now, it might be that I need all that space for tables and for paying customers and so on. And one entrance is enough. So I won't make that decision yet. So for now, I'm going to leave it um, as if it's going to be a continuous barrier. And with that in mind, I'll put on a 2x6 plate in dark tan. But it could be good with two entrances and exits. I don't know. Hmm. Right, so at the moment then that's going to be uh, a complete side. And this side I'll also put a 2x6 on to finish that off. So it's looking pretty neat now. What I also need to do is add these lights back. And I thought if I did that there, I continue the theme that's going on elsewhere by using these 2x2 two two black curved bricks to sort of tidy up these outside areas so that's looking rather good now gets rid of that nasty bit also gives it a bit of strength because it's a bit flimsy at the moment and um, yeah that one needs one as well put that there this floor does move a little at the moment I might secure it a bit better and then one there. And then a couple on this side, which you won't be able to see as well. So I need the lamp back. It's quite hard working on this because it sort of tips if you uh, press it too much in any particular direction, this boat. 
as boats will do. And then two more to tidy up this side. Okay, so now we've got a very large square area to use as our restaurant. And the first thing I think it still needs are some steps up. So I've just got a few plates in dark tan because I'm going to have this marrying with a gangplank from the key side. Actually, that'll hold the removable section in place, won't it? So it won't move anymore. One last step. Uh, or maybe I'll need to do something similar on the other side. But there we go. So there's some steps up. And that will meet with something on the key side. Going up to that point. Cool. Starting to come together. Right, now for the side. So this represents the key side. It's the right height, just a little mock-up, even looks a bit similar. And this is the pavement level. And the first thing to do is to get a ramp up to the entrance point. And what I've got is just a very simple setup with some hinge bricks on a plate, which is holding together some tiles. I was going to use eight long uh, reddish brown tiles, but then I realized there's really loads of reddish brown already. So I thought this dark brown might look a bit more classy. And I don't think they do eight long tiles in dark brown, or at least I don't have any anyway. So the idea would be that it would go up like that. So you would go up the gangplank and then sort of down the few steps to, to get in. Yeah, I quite like that. Now another thought was to actually remove a couple of these because I actually got some dark brown plates as well. And I could do a combination of plates and tiles. And then at least then I could stand a minifigure on the gangplank, sort of going up. Should I wish? which I think is probably a good plan. Uh, I don't know if they do those four wide uh, plates with a stud on each end in dark brown either. That would be another idea, but I don't have any of those either. So um, yeah, so that looks good. Now to give this some uh, interest and taking uh, good inspiration from all the gold bits on these dragon heads, hold on. I thought I'd get a few more of these pieces in gold to try and adorn this new stair with. So if you saw earlier, I put some little clips underneath those uh, new pieces for the edge. So I've got some decoration there. So when the gangplank goes up, it's sort of got a handrail on either side. I really need a handrail uh, both at the top and the bottom. So if I take this off briefly, add some clips with two more of these things on the bottom. Whatever these things are, probably got a name. And then a combination of the one at the bottom and the one at the top will form a nice handrail. Now the boat will be slightly, slightly higher when it's in position because it'll also be on a base plate, so it'll be more like that. It's clashing at the moment, but I think that'll work rather well. So it looks kind of like a very ornamental banister. So that looks rather good, I think. Then I want to do some more decoration. So first of all, I got some tiles with Destiny's Bounty. Now these are the tiles that usually on the back of the ship, they're on there. I could have taken them off because you'll barely see them, um, given that that back end is going to be facing the wall of the Lego room. But I managed to get a new sticker sheet for these, so I can have them here 
and on the back of the boat. So I thought if one sign was either side of the uh, stairway, it would look something like that. This will marry slightly better when it's in situ, I think. There we go. So it'll look like that. I think that's looking rather good. And the last thing to adorn this area with, I think, is a couple of features from the Chinese New Year set, 80101, which are these sort of Ming vases with lucky red flowers in the top. And I just thought, for a bit of colour contrast, because it's all brown and dark red around here, obviously this will all look a bit neater when it's the real one in the real place, but it's just a mock-up, as I say but we'll have a Ming vase either side. And that does look like a very welcoming entrance, if you ask me. God, I really like that. And it's uh, quite a good scale. Yeah, fantastic. Really happy with that. Looks a lot better than I thought it was going to. Maybe I'm just easily pleased. Let me know what you think. One more touch will be to add this setup back on, see how it looks. Complete the scene so it's ready for uh, turning into a restaurant. Yep, there we go. Looking absolutely fantastic. So I've run out of time today. Uh, so I'm going to have to make this a two-parter. Everything always takes a lot longer than you uh, think it's going to. But um, I'm really happy with progress for the first stage, given that we've got so much space to work with. And I can get a lot of uh, waiters on here with a lot of hot food. A lot of tables and a lot of happy customers. But as a start for stripping it down and adding the link with the land, I think I've done a pretty good job, if I do say so myself. Well, I hadn't intended on making this a two-parter, but as I say, I've run out of time, so sorry about that. But uh, it gives us something to look forward to next time. So as always, thank you very much for watching. Do remember to like, comment and subscribe for more awesome LEGO videos. And as I say, next time on Robin Hood Bricks, we'll be finishing off this Chinese restaurant. See you then.